Another day, another project. This is the tailgate of my son's Series 6 Mazda RX-7 race car and I'm going to turn this into a lightweight model for him. I'm going to make a fiberglass mould of it, a two-piece mould, and then I'm going to make carbon fibre copies. The methods that I'm going to use would be the same if you were doing not just a tailgate but also a door where you've got an outer skin and an inner skin and you want to bring the two together to get the strength in the framing. Last night we took out the window out of this tailgate. We didn't want to break it because James wants to use it to heat and mould the perspex, clear perspex to the shape. I'll show you how we did it because these heated seals are difficult to deal with. First of all we ran around the whole thing with a Stanley knife, cutting as far in as we could. I got a 25mm or 1 inch paint scraper and I sharpened the edges all the way around with a sanding disc on a little angle grinder. Then we went round the whole of the windscreen, driving it with a hammer, like that. Then we went back for a third cut, and this time we put the blade at 90 degrees and we pushed it right through so we could see it, and then we drove it round with a hammer. That way we were able to get the glass out in one piece, no cracks. Understandably, James thought we'd have to separate the two inner and outer skins on this tailgate. He thought we'd have to go around and drill out all the spot welds and separate it into two separate pieces to make the moulds. Thankfully, that's not going to be necessary as you'll see. I'm going to mould the top outside first because it's going to be the easiest to do. And really all I've got to do is blank off about half a dozen holes and then we'll be ready to go. carbon fibre is the likelihood that you'll get little air bubbles in crevices and grooves in your mould. The way to avoid that is to do as I've done here and let's go the next step up which is vacuum bagging. This is not vacuum infusion. Vacuum infusion 
is where the materials are laid on the mould dry, the vacuum is established and then the resin is drawn through by the vacuum. That's a technique that's used primarily for the aircraft industry where they're paranoid about having the slightest little bit extra bit of resin in the job that you don't need. That's not the case here. This is just vacuum bagging. We're using a vacuum provided by the pump over there, sort of, same sort of pump as a refrigerator pump. You can get two fittings like this one here, which I'm also using, which connects to a conventional air compressor. It sucks the air out and it draws the fabric down onto the mould and you get the best reproduction for your job. But I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. Let's go back and see how we did this. Sydney, you are here.
ultimate aid is the two carbon fibre skins joined together. You can see how light this thing is. Check it out. I'm holding that on my finger. It weighs, I would guess, about two to three kilos at most. I could have filled the top half here, from there all the way around with pouring foam. I was thinking of doing that, but this thing feels so tough now, it's a box section. I don't think there's any need to do that. I hope you learned a few things watching the video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.